Yo, what's up, everybody? As you see in the title down below, I'm going to take a semi-hiatus. Uh, a lot of things happen, and, you know, I'm just going to say what happened because, you know, I, I like to have a connection with my subscribers. I went to Blo the Block B concerts. Awesome. Uh, di went to K-Pop Con Miami. This was dope. I didn't expect this, like, such epicness to happen there for, like, just for the fans. You know what I mean? Uh... Just for, you know, just for, like, K-pop fans to hang out. And it was so much that turned out, turned up, uh, um, like, turn up, yeah, turn up, no. Basically, I overworked myself. I overworked worked myself from since day one. I've been, we're always, I'm a hard worker. I like what I do. I like entertaining y'all. And sometimes I forget to take a rest, like, a proper rest. And for the last past month, I've been going ham too much. Uh, hard as a mofo, if you don't know what ham says, uh, or means, and it, it caught up to me, because after the Black Beat concert, I didn't get enough sleep, I got like, I, uh, basically, I, I edited a video of Black Beat in Miami, I finished that, and that will be up, I slept at 3, I, I edited at 2 a.m., and an hour of editing, 3, and then, yeah, 4, 5, 6, like 3 hours of sleep, and woke up. And basically what happened was I felt, you know, when you feel like you've been laying on your hand or, or something like feels like they're asleep and you, you're tingly feeling or just a weird feeling like it's not numb or anything. You just, it just feels weird. That's what happened on my, my leg, my left leg. When I woke up, I didn't pay attention to it. And then I went out to get some coffee, went back to editing. And then, uh, as the day came on, because I have to go do a panel, JRE came on panel at 1 p.m. Uh, when we were about to go eat, me and Camel, we were about to go eat downstairs. And then what happened was, I felt all the weirdness going from my leg to my sides, to my hands, to the face, all on my left side. Just a bunch of tingling feeling. And that scared the shit out of me because, you know, my father went through a stroke and, uh, and, and, and... I always had to like repeat, like keep on talking because I didn't know if I was having a stroke or not. Because I felt it in my arm, I'm like, oh shit, what's going on? Or if I was hard, having a heart attack. And I was saying, yo, what's up, this is Dre. And I was repeating like, you know, like I'm performing like, yo, what's up. I was saying, rizzle, rizzle, racks, rizzle, rizzle, racks. And I told KML, is my face fine? Like, is my lip like drooping or anything? I'm like, she's like, no, you're fine, you're speaking fine. So I'm like, what's going on? So it was either called 911 at the hotel or just my parents. I told my dad just come by just to check on me. Like, come on, come on, uh, just come by. And he brought my mom. I brought, my mom is a, a, a registered nurse. She takes care of uh, premature babies and, you know, she's a nurse. So she brought the blood pressure machine that she owns and she tested on me. I was fine. So I, basically, Camel knew it was because of lack of sleep. I kind of knew that too, but I just kind of psyched myself out thinking it was like something else. Also, I knew that Mr. Popo went through this kind of same thing, too. He had, uh, like, a scare, like, a muscle spasms. So, I'm guessing that w that's what it was because it felt like I was my legs were going to give out, but they weren't. I was strong enough. I could, like, you know, I was testing out my strength, but it just, I felt, like, so done. Like, I was so dead. Like, if you saw me at, at K-Pop Con Miami and I had my glasses on, it wasn't because I wanted to be a douchebag. Hell no. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be fancy. But, um, I was just trying to sh not show my, like, my, like, I'm, like, I'm tired. I was so dead tired. Just, and I, and then my left of my body was, like, so weird. Like, tingly, like, <sighs> guys, it was a scary situation. I don't know. Anyways, if I, if you saw me there and you saw me, like, look weird, it's, that was the problem. I didn't want to really say it to everybody. I told Mr. Popo and a few other people because I was like, Yo, I don't know. I don't feel so well. I was like, but I still performed. I still give my all at the panel. Uh, hopefully, I I I did my best in entertaining y'all. You guys had a fun time. It seems like at the dance competition for two hours, I was performing my butt off, hosting that thing, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. But I'm gonna take a semi hiatus. You're gonna have like two videos up maybe before I take my semi hiatus, which is about the Block B Miami and some vlogs. So this is JRE. I'm out for like a week, and yeah, hope you guys understand. <laughs> now, of course, I feel a little bit better now. I uh, just even during before the panel, I got an hour of sleep and I felt a little bit better. And you know, no more tingly stuff. It may, I mean, I can still tiny bit feel it, but I feel a little bit more better. And I just need more rest. I just need a full day of rest or two days and just a week of just regular sleeping, healthy lifestyle. Uh, and yeah, so you might not get any reactions or anything, so sorry for that. But yo, your boy needs some rest. I'm sorry for um. 
uh, I felt m like mad that I couldn't do like I was like, what if I can't go to the panel? I was like, they I don't know if they will understand. I felt like worried, but you know, I just I just I just like to entertain y'all. I like I I feel like I I don't know. Sometimes I gotta look out for myself now. But I love you guys. Anyways, <laughs> take a semi hiatus again. Oh, and Camel gave me some gummies. Thank you, Camel. I'm eating them right now <laughs> for breakfast. That's not good. <laughs> nah, my mom's getting me something to eat. Anyways, yeah, that's the reason why if those people that saw my parents there is because I called them instead of the police, uh, the 911, just just because I, I I know my mom is a nurse and I wanted to check it first, and and I wanted to know that she knows I'm okay. Um, so yeah, if you met them, there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, bye.